All right, guys, I'm just out riding, and today I've got a little project. There's a lot of birds around. Perks of living in the country. These birds are actually, like, legit really loud. Anyway, so, here I have a mini bike, 50cc two-stroke, that I've had since I was probably about 10 or something. Just has been, like, eight years. Um, pretty, pretty normal controls. Got a stunt brake. Back brake's already connected up to the front because it's automatic. However, I've got plans for this. I saw this video of this kid on YouTube turn a bicycle into an electric bicycle by using an electric drill. Bloody mental, I know. However, genius idea. And I reckon this is small enough that I can do that with this. So I'm going to turn this uh, mini dirt bike into an electric bike use it for stunts and cool stuff like that um, using an electric drill I'm probably gonna try and get a better drill in the future they sort of kick out about half a half a horsepower to maybe a horsepower not the, not the uh, most powerful things but this is the video of the kid that did it and he's going pretty pretty not badly quick he's going pretty quick so the plan is this 50cc engine has been an absolute nightmare. It's never since the day I got it. It's never ran properly. I'll give you a quick tour around the bike, and I'll explain the idea that I've got. Okay, here is the beauty. Uh, of course, I snapped off the front fender because I'm an absolute nonce. Um, did that when I was when I was a kid. Here's the little motor. Absolute beauty. It's absolutely tiny. It was never. It was. It was never a good bike. Loads of issues. Let me show you around this side. Bad idea, I know. I'll just put it on the floor. So this is the pull start. There, there should be a, a piece that connects onto this that you yank uh, to start the engine. But that that's just always broken every time we've tried. Got the carb there, which is probably set wrong. Um, spark plug looks absolutely like put. Anyway, it's probably dripping fuel everywhere. I reckon I can easily fit a drill in. And... At the back, it's pretty hard to see. At the back, there's the uh, the bit that connects the engine to the chain. So I'm just gonna try and use that sprocket, connect it to a drill, and turn this into an electric bike. Plan is, I'm gonna use this throttle cable. When you turn it, uh, pulls the cable, and down here in the carb, uh, just about here, this is where the cable goes in, goes into the carb. I'm gonna use that cable to uh, pull the trigger on the electric drill to make the drill spin faster that's the basic idea I'm gonna take out the engine and I can probably use it in future projects because I want to try do a few projects that's the lean of the bike when the kickstand's down like realistically I don't know who designed it but that needs to be fixed yeah it was a pretty cheap bike back in the day <laughs> we're just gonna take this project step by step the first step I need to do is to take out the engine, take off the exhaust, probably take off this bloody stand, which is absolutely pointless. I might cut it down and re-weld it so it's actually usable. So first step is take out the engine. Goodbye. Okay, first step, take off the exhaust. Most of the uh, bolts seem to be just Allen keys. If you're wondering why I'm doing this ah, in the middle of a field, aka my garden, um, just in the garage everyone can hear me, I just don't like it. Okay, exhaust has been removed from the bottom and lit up. Now. All we got to do with this puppy, just got to wiggle it out. This is basically a full Acura system, which they, they chuck on these 100 pound kids bikes. Here we go. Got bloody oil all over my hands. Wrong way, that's the zoom out. Here we go. We got the... Uh, 
two stroke exhaust with oil and crap all over it. I'll keep that handy for the next project which I'll probably use that engine for. Next job we've got Allen bolts here There's probably some other ones holding the actual engine in. I've got a bloody cable tie here that I'm gonna have to snap or cut even. Too big for the hull. Always my problem. <laughs> there are some really bloody loud birds around here, I can tell you that. That snap. Very satisfying. Now make sure you don't lose any of these bolts, because they'll probably come in handy. <laughs> Bollocks. Okay, this little flange. I don't know what the word flange means. Flange. Satisfying word, satisfying word. Okay, this thing looks unuseful. Okay, it's connected at the bottom by some big boys. Big, big boy. Mimi, big boy. I don't really care about oil and shit leaking out at the minute because it's all, it's all coming out anyway. Down here, these bolts need to do a remove. Bada bada. Oh, snap a rune. There's a train going past because I live next to a bloody train station. Another plan for this bike is I'm going to add some sort of um, stunt stuff to it because hopefully once I've got a powerful enough drill powering this um, it will be able to move me. That is a key hope for the project. <laughs> um, and I'll be able to turn it into some, some kind of like ultra small um, stunting, stunt, stunt bike, kind of like the pit bike, but with the pit bike, it's hard to use just around my garden. There's not really enough space, and this just sounds fun. And realistically, it's not got much practical use apart from messing around on. So I may as well make it more stunty because uh, I can't, I can't go anywhere on it. Okay, da -da -da -da. chain still on. Should probably take that off. Okay. Engine is looser than a prosy's fanny. Aim is to be able to take this chain off without having to loosen the back wheel or any of the like. Yeah, there's a tiny sprocket. As you can see, not really a mechanic by trade. I've just got to disconnect. Bloody hell, what the hell? I think I need to take this cover off. The fact the bike doesn't stand up on its own really isn't making this operation any easier. I managed to snap some wires whilst chucking this about. Well done, Ryan. Whoop. I should really get a pot to put all these screws in, but I'm not a professional, so. What have we got in here? Okay, we have ignition coil. Huh. Could be part of the reason the engine's not starting is because the bloody ignition coil that looks like that was unplugged. So, this is the starter motor. You turn the oh, hello, oh, <laughs> it's making some uh, ejaculation noises. Here's the sprocket. I might have to rework out the gearing um, to make to maximize performance. Okay, so here I have the, the carb and the air intake if I'm not mistaken. So this is the carb, um, when I turn the throttle, the, uh, this, this little valve opens up more, so you can, that's probably what adjusts the idle, so this screw here adjusts the idle, and I'm guessing that probably adjusts the, yeah, the default position of the valve, look at that, I'm learning. Oh, and I can't do it back up, nice one. Okay, so the job now I think is to remove this bit which is where the fuel comes from. Probably going to tip some fuel um, somewhere, but there's not a lot in the tank at all, I don't think. Even if there is, it's well old and it needs replacing. Removed. Check. Here we have the throttle cable. Can that unscrew? Oh, absolute beauty. Da 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 da. Okay, well it unscrewed, but 
I need to do something more internal to get that out. Okay, so engine has been fully removed. The next job's basically just going to be to get rid of the all the leftover wires and stuff and then start thinking about how we're going to connect the electric motor, aka drill. I managed to get these two bits out. Um, yeah, they're, they're all out. The cogs there that I'm going to be using and this, I had to undo this black bit to get this out and I've got the little door that opened and shut down in the bottom. Next, we're moving on to the electric motor section.